Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am so excited about today because I cannot wait to share with you what I just created for all my writers out there. The best part of it is that it is free and you guys are really going to, I think, enjoy it. And I think you're going to make good use of this document. So this is what is included in this video today. In a minute, I'm going to share with you how I created this document right here. And I'm going to share with you how I actually use it. I'm going to give you an example from the, my own novel that I'm writing right now. And I'm also going to share with you where you can go to download it. So what is this document exactly? It is a chapter by chapter note. It is not an outline, though it can be used as an outline if you choose to. It is more about each chapter, like what should each chapter have what should each chapter include so that you have not only a strong chapter but a strong story in the end so i'm super excited because whether you've already written your story or you're in the middle of the story or you haven't even started writing yet i think this is a document that can be very useful to you no matter at what stage of the writing process you're in so for example I've already written like almost 30,000 words in my Christmas novel, but I am still going to use this going forward because especially in the middle part of writing, I always get a little stuck, even though I know some of the scenes that I have in my mind, like I know the scene, but I don't necessarily know the conflict and I don't necessarily know the outcome, like what is the point or how is the story this part moving the story forward and that is exactly where this piece of paper comes in and i think you guys are going to really like it so we are going to jump into my computer right now i'm going to share with you really quickly how i created it just so i can show you the different um, options that you have and then we're going to jump in to my desk and i'm going to show you exactly an example of how i would use it or how i'm going to use it going forward so remember you can use this at no matter what stage of the writing process you're at. So without further ado, let's jump onto my computer. So as always, I went on to Canva to create this document. It was really simple to create. And if you guys wanna create anything, you guys know that you need to just go to Canva and use this because it is awesome. I do have the paid version, but you guys can get whatever version you want. So. The very first thing I did is I created this one. Let's make it a little bigger maybe. Yeah. So I created this one, which is colorful. You can print it out and you can have it in all these colors and it's just pretty cool to use. I also, I'm going to make it available to you have it like this, just black and white. You don't have to necessarily have it with colors and you can, the boxes are still defined, but they are not like this. Or you can print it out like this and you don't have to worry about any boxes at all. And maybe it gives you a little more room to go from one corner, one end to the other. So I just wanted to share with you, those are the three different options that we have. And this is what it's going to look like once you get it. Let's make this a little smaller so you can see it. Let's make it even a little smaller than that. And this is what it looks like. When I am done, I'm going to share with you guys how you can grab this copy of all three and you can start making your notes immediately. So let's go ahead and jump onto my desk so I can show you how to use this document. All right guys, so here we go. This is the three different options that I just shared with you. The color option, the one with the clear boxes, and then the one with no boxes at all. I'm going to choose to use this one just because I think it's pretty and that's why I created it because I love these colors. So I'm going to use an example from my current novel that I am writing to answer these eight prompts. So the first question is, what is the main point in the chapter? For me, it is to introduce, oops, my, introduce my main character, right? That is the main point of this chapter. Then I'm going to move over here and say, what is the setting? Well, the setting is at a hospital, at a hospital where she works at a hospital then the characters in here i'm going to name all the characters that i know are going to be in this very first chapter and that is my main character which is eloise 
and then it's going to be Susie and it's going to be Chris. Now mom and dad are on the phone. They're not physically in the chapter, but we're gonna put them there because I know they're in the chapter. Now what is the main conflict of this chapter? The character, the MC, which is Eloise, is um, wants a Hallmark type Christmas, but doesn't want to spend it with her no, oops, two no's, no, with her no good boyfriend who she's planning on breaking up with. Planning to break up. Planning on breaking up with, whatever. You guys get the point. How does this chapter open? It, after, it opens with her finishing her 16 hour shift. What happens in the middle of the chapter? Her parents call and say that her boyfriend and family and his parents, I shouldn't say family, and his parents are coming to their Christmas because they're long, long they're, they have been friends for you know a very long time. So that's what happens in the middle of the story. Then how does the story close? This is where she decides she doesn't go home for Christmas and she accepts her friends, her friend Susie's invite to her family Christmas. How does this move the story forward? So, this leads to chapter two where we introduce Trevor, Susie's brother. So as you can see, let me go over the questions real quick again. What is the main point in this chapter? What is the setting? characters in chapters like what are the characters in this chapter what is the main conflict in the chapter how does the chapter open what happens in the middle of the chapter how does this chapter close and how does this move the story forward so i think two of the most important questions in this section right here are these two questions these two right here what is the main conflict in the chapter and how does this move the story forward? Now, if everything you've written here doesn't move your story forward, then something's gone wrong. You've got to make sure that everything that you write is moving the story forward in some way. So having Susie included in this chapter, having Susie invite her to her family Christmas makes a good point here because now in the next chapter Susie is going to bring Trevor into the story so that is my point here this is, helps me clear things up helps me understand there's a conflict and if there isn't a conflict maybe I'll create one for in this chapter the conflict is that this character loves Christmas she hasn't had a chance to you know 
be in the Christmas spirit. She's really, she's got some time off. She really wants to enjoy her Christmas with her family, but her family has invited her boyfriend who she doesn't, you know, she's about to break up with him. And she's like, oh no, now my Christmas is ruined. So her friend asks her to come with us on Christmas. And she finally, you know, after debating for a little while, she finally decides, yes, I'm going to go. And that's where it leads to her meeting obviously this guy right here which is you know obviously i'm in the middle of writing the story and i can't share a lot of things but you know he's part of the he's the second mc there's two points of view this book is written from two points of view so the second chapter will be from trevor's point of view so anyways that is it i hope that you guys like this document if you like it and you want to download it there's a link in the description box below for you guys to go ahead and download it all you have to do is be part of my community by joining my author um, newsletter i don't email you guys a lot i promise i only email you guys when there is something happening or I just want to alert you of something, but I do not send emails, not even monthly, you guys. I probably send it about, I don't know, six times a year, unless I have a release, you know, month to month or something important. So don't be afraid of uh, just be being bombarded by new emails because that's not going to happen. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you again in the next one. Until then, God bless you.